Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Stellaris. Uh, we are still in the middle of a fleet refit so that we can actually go against normal enemies again. <laughs> uh, I will eventually be swapping those back over to more conventional ships, or at least more conventional in terms of what we're used to. Um, in the meantime, I am still trying to expand here to give the vast majority of this, actually probably all of it, uh, to our vassal here. Just so that we own the large swaths of space. I mean, to be fair, we own this portion all the way down through here and up and around and back over here. Yes, we don't own these two. Completed. That is true. Ooh, hello. Uh, let's get you to build a mining station and expand here. Let's get you to build mining and research and expand here. And I might as well build the stuff for our vassals since we're making oodles and oodles of stuff. I mean, why not? It's not like we're, we're going to use it for anything, right? <laughs> yeah. So, fleet refit a feral Perothian signal. Many Perothian creatures remain unaccounted for after the defeat of the Scourge, having slipped away into the depths of space in the ensuing chaos. With no central hive consciousness to guide them, most of these mindless beasts will eventually wither and perish. However, recent sightings have confirmed that a large number of, the, of these feral Pyrethians have established a new lair in the Geofa system. Really? Why there? Um, in the coming years, we will likely face the possibility of more feral pyrothian nesting in unoccupied systems where the Scourge once had a presence. They are unlikely to develop into a major threat. These wild creatures are prone to infighting and do not exhibit the calculating intelligence that drove the Scourge onwards. All right. Issue a travel advisory. <laughs> Construction completed. Ooh, yes. Stuff's getting... So, in taking these systems back, we prevent more of these feral scourges from showing up. And this one's not even going to be close to our... Well, it's one, two, three... I guess that would be four. So, I guess technically that would be close to our space. But uh, I could send the domesticated Pyrethorians down here. But they'd probably get destroyed. 5K Knowledge station, is the three. Key to the universe. Yeah, they might get destroyed. All right. Uh, more armor, please. Really? There's a planet in, in the galaxy map? <laughs> That's awesome. That's an awesome glitch. I can clear that. <laughs> nope. Apparently, I can't. There's a planet <laughs> just sitting off of the galactic rim. Oh, man. I got to take a screenshot of this. There we go. <laughs> I got to send that to my buddies who play Stellaris. Oh, all right. Let's keep going. <laughs> I wonder if that's a event of some sort. It is kind of funny. Is that one? Of, it's not even one of these worlds. Actually, it is one of these worlds. It's this one right here that's showing up on the world map or on the galactic map. <laughs> oh, well, I've had my laugh for the day. Oh, so let's see here. At this point, we're kind of just waiting. We're waiting for several things. We're waiting for the end uh, we're waiting for the fleets to be done. We're waiting for the Dyson Sphere to be done. Look at those plates. Those things look gorgeous. Oh, a hundred days. I wish that we could do multiple um, mega structure uh, constructions at once. Because we ha totally have the resources for it. So, in light of that, completed. 
I think we're going to try um to that was you. Uh to get a new mega structure up and running. And I th I don't know what I want to try. I know what one of them does, but I don't know what the others do. However, in preparation for that, look at this. This one's going to be done first. This one's going to be done last. So let's put that up first. Nope. This one, please. That way I know. 200 days. How about here? Here, it's this one. Okay. So let's get a construction ship. And we should be able to just build it. Because we're not using all of the, the, the shipyards. Even though, if you think about it, all of those fleets, each shipyard... So if you can only build one ship per shipyard, how can you refit an entire fleet of 200 per single shipyard? I think that's why it takes so long. is because you can only do one at a time. one, Essentially one per shipyard. I started to integrate the Sirog Star Commonwealth. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. Has declared the Polysimus Directors their rival. I'm fine with that too. Alright, let's move you. Let's come up here. Since I... No, let's go somewhere where we don't have a station of some sort. So, like here. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally destroy a, a, a big station. Just in case. And we're probably going to have to remove this station. Depends on what we're building. And what it says when we get there. There's the Dyson Spheres panels. While not yet complete... With the installation of advanced solar harvesters, we have begun to reap the benefits of the Dyson Sphere being built in the Waltham system. The energy gains will only continue to increase as construction continues, eventually reaching full operational capacity when the sphere is completed. So, yeah, we're still missing half of our things, but this is producing 232. If we upgrade it, it'll upgrade to 525. Construction completed. Um, with 50% energy efficiency. We're not going to do that just yet. Instead, we're going to grab this construction ship. We're going to go build. We're going to... Uh, I want to build the interstellar assembly site. Which means we need influence. Which means I need to stop expanding for a little bit. Okay. I can do that. No, I can't. <laughs> I have issues with that. Oh, look! More feral. Uh, just where we were planning on expanding, too. I could cancel one of these, but they're already done, essentially. So we may as well just let this one and this one go so that they no more of this can happen. Uh, how close are we to being done? A hundred days. No, sorry. Yeah, this one. A has war to be has erupted. Two hundred ninety-three days for that one. Uh between the Kareem Mandate and the Drekon Collectors. Between the Kareem, really? These guys. So the Kareem and the Foundry are now at war with the Drekon Collectors, right? You're in with the Bavi Confederation, and you're at war with the Righteous League. Which, these guys should be the Righteous League. Yep, member of the Righteous League with the Foundry of Kazul. At war with the Righteous League. <laughs> oh, that's great. Is that world still there? That is so strange. Research concluded. All right. Well, there's applied superconductivity. Hello, energy income. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that before. 
Let's get some better shields going. Well, yeah. By better shields, I mean they have slightly more hit points. Because why not, right? Might as well. Might as well. Okay, so the Cassius Beal was lost. I don't really care anymore. We can just kind of crush whoever attacks us. Everybody is pathetic compared to us. At this point, we're just waiting on all of this to get done. 251 days Ship upgrades applied. for the one fleet. One fleet is now done. At 42k, you came from the windstorm, I believe. So we have to wait for the other windstorm to finish, which should be done any minute. They should have actually not... They should have taken less. Right? Because if I split them off, this one was this one, this one was this one. Construction this one was, completed. Yeah, it should be the, the windstorm, Void Wings. The minstrel and the windstorm upgrades applied. should be there we go. Okay, so, nope. That was the 25th. How much do you have left? 10%? Mm. Ship upgrades applied. Ship upgrades applied. All right, so the 25th and the cloud burst can now remerge. Those were the two that split off from each other. Uh, the windstorm should be done here soon. Oh, we're paused. Why are we always paused? I know it's 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 I pause it to do something and then forget to unpause it, but I don't know. It's just weird. Ninety-five. So you're with the minstrel. Ship upgrades applied. Ship upgrades applied. There we go. And then the night hunt and the star plume. Whenever the night hunt's done. 80%. Waiting 81. Ship upgrades applied. And I now see you. No, nope, you're still completed. classified as waiting upgrades. Okay, so all the secondary fleets are done. It's just the primary fleets that we're waiting for. What's your total fleet power? 1.07 or 107.4k. All right. Ship upgrades applied. There we go. You and it's you, right? 92 and 93. Yep. Let's get you guys to merge back up. Cool. Uh, we're at 85 and 86, so I think this is going to be done first. So we'll just wait. We're all, oh, wait. We have something else to do. Uh, build me an interstellar assembly fight. Seriously, I still have to wait for two weeks or two months. Uh, it's fine. 80, 84 and 88, well, it's like 75 and 78 now, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so down here... I can actually give you a decent amount of that. Let's reach into the shroud. Uh, decrease ship upkeep, doesn't matter. Increase influence, D sure. Let's try it for that one. Uh, let's see here. Powerful energies. Our empaths are stronger than ever. 30% monthly influence. Ooh. Okay, so we're at 11.9. 16? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. All right. Build me an interstellar assembly site. Um, do I have to build it out here? Or is it a, a galactic location? Or 
Are you actually moving or are you building? You're just moving. Interstellar assembly site. Must build in capital system. Okay. Build megastructure. Interstellar assembly site. Thank you. I didn't know I had to build that in the capital system. I wonder what that does for us. You should be almost done. Yeah, you're almost done. So it was you and... Nope. It was you and... Yeah, you. That was right. 108, 109. Construction completed. That was a research Ship station. Upgrades applied. Urge. Ship upgrades applied. Wait, why can't I merge you two? Wait, what? Oh, it's because it's the night hunt in here. Ha 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 ha! We at full power. <laughs> okay. And yes, I just did that. Don't judge me. Okay, judge me all you want. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's. Oh, you're already building those. Cool. You're done. Let's get you to move up here. Uh, you are not building yours. Can I get you guys to come here? And can I get you two to come here? We may as well destroy these since we're trying to expand into this area. As quickly as we can. And I got a huge grin on my face. <laughs> The Grolferp Alliance wishes to declare war against the Polysimus Dictators. Uh, apparently that's a yes. A war has erupted. Hello. We'll be there momentarily. Uh, until then, I have some unfinished business to, to attend to down in this other area. This region. Alright, guys. Let's all show up. I may have to do multiple sets of jumps. We'll have to see how quick everybody show. Okay, I'm just going to do it as soon as you show up. Uh, Jump, control, shift, all the way to here. Actually, no. Go back to going there. We'll let everybody go one jump out. Where are you going? Ooh. Declare Saint expired. Uh, yes, it did. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's just extra unity. Okay. Get you to jump to here. Next fleet. To jump to here. Who's next? The three of you. Um, uh, how about I just get every all oh, criminy? Okay, you're haven't made it there yet. You're already jumping. You, I need you to jump. You're already jumping. You're not. There we go. So it's just you. The slow pokes. There we go. This should take off a huge chunk of travel time. <laughs> uh, governor leveled up. That's fine. And war has been declared against these guys. I think these guys are on their own. Yeah. Well, nope. The Democratic Sidmus Commonwealth. We're up against them as well. Oh, these guys are bigger than I thought they were. Okay. Hostile fleets present, huh? Well, I guess we're clearing out this system first. <laughs> I think they can expand, which kind of sucks. And they use the same technology, too, so... It'll, be, it'll take a little bit longer to kill them, but uh, we should be doing all right. Yeah, it'll take a little bit longer to kill him.
Because now instead of just blasting through hull and armor, now we just deal with our, our hull. Well, mostly anyway. Okay, so that's the station. That other little 2k fleet that's left should be gone fairly quick as well. Yeah, these shouldn't take very long. Um, oh, you actually need something to do. Okay, here we go again. Whoa, that was a lot of missiles we just took to the face. Where's the other fleet? Yeah, our guys are dying. Where's the other fleet? Why is it taking so long? Because you're super slow. All right. Hello. All right. The second fleet, when it inserts itself, should handily take care of this. Um, technically, the first fleet should be able to take care of all of this as well. There's the second fleet. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. And then we've only got one fleet over here for the time being as well. But the other two are on their way. In 50 days. All right, well, let's watch this one since this one's going to conclude first. That one fleet is getting just chewed up, isn't it? Only because probably a bunch of them jumped out. Yeah, some of them jumped out. It's all right. Are you guys jumping anytime soon? <laughs> All right, so you two, when you're done, come help over here. Sheesh, finally. All that's left of the one is the station, so let's watch this one. For a little bit, anyway. Are you guys in combat yet? Yes, you are. And there's the third fleet. Finally. So, the point defense combined with the ability to punch through armor and uh, shields is kind of funny. Because these guys don't have shields, so it kind of negates half of it. But we needed to do that flip over to take care of the Polysimus Dictators? Or Directors? I keep calling them Dictators. Maybe because they want to control the galaxy. Oh, wait. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yep and there goes that fleet another promising officer excellent cool time to go get the station it really has issues with this many ships doesn't it it really does construction completed will we finish ooh a starbase hello Mining and research and expansion. Uh, you already have an expansion planned. You do not. Let's ex be in here. In a month. <laughs> Which means I'm going to forget about it for two years. All right. Come on. Just destroy that hole. Thank you. All right. Uh, do we want to come here or do we want to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to pull out my armies. Okay, so then we're not going to pull out the armies. We're going to do stuff like go after the dimensional horror. Where is that? That's up here, right? Yes. Come here. 
All fleets. Okay, fine. All fleets go here. Yeah, let's do all fleets. Construction completed. All fleets go there. All right, what just got done? Oh, the mining station. So you're moving. Uh, you, I can now still. <laughs> I paused it a, like a split second too early. It was great. Okay, that's fine. Uh, technically, since all those are queued, we can offer trade deal. Oh, we're at war. Never mind. Gah, this is why I don't like being at war. 50,000, though. And you. Knowledge you with your almost done. Universe. Oh. Admin cap up to 305. All right. Uh, let's increase our edict duration, then. However, we are out of time for today. So next time, we are going to clean up the Dimensional Horror, Ether Drake... Scavenger bot, all of those. Um, then we're going to go attack the Polismus directors. And somewhere in there, we're going to win the game. We already know that we're going to win. On January 1st, 2600, the Intergalactic Library Services will win the game. The Polismus directors has no chance of catching up. None whatsoever. So all we have to do is wait 36 years and we've won. I could classify this as a win. However, uh, this will be the first time I've actually won an unmodded game. So I'm going to stick around to the victory screen. <laughs> Even though it's going to take probably, I don't know, five or six more episodes, maybe more. But yeah, I am going to end today's episode off here. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.